We would be honored if you would join us. Hey everyone, how's it going? It's uh, been a long time since I've done a little bit of an update in the room, but um, yeah, I've, once I sort of settled down in here, sort of late last year, got my room tour up earlier this year, which you can find on the front of my YouTube channel. I'm pretty sure it's the sort of the main featured video of my channel at the moment. So yeah, go and check that out. Um, things are always changing in here. Things are always progressing. And um, yeah, today I've decided to do a little bit of an update because I'm making some big changes. So I'm going to sort of document that as I go. Um, so I'm going to sort of flip around it. So, yeah, obviously here is the the sort of the main sort of 3.75 inch collection. And this is actually going to expand that away. So they're going to come out. I'm not sure where they're going to go yet. That is going. All those Clone Wars, that's all my Clone Wars figures there. You can see down the bottom there, there's the Tartakovsky stuff. Um, yeah, they're, they're all going to be incorporated into my three and three quarter inch collection, as well as, you know, figures like my Rebels, uh, possibly Resistance, I haven't decided yet, they may just sort of slot in with the sequel stuff, undecided about, you know, the EU Legends, I'd love to put a few of those figures sort of in the mix, um, and they may even get their own little area sort of amongst all the goodness that is here and you know maybe even div divide them up by era and sort of put them in their sort of spots basically i wanted to just create some extra space you know there's my sort of there's some kenobi fallen fallen order um dr afra and uh yeah this moving being able to move them out of there will create a little bit more room to you know my power of the four shelves are a little bit cluttered i'd like to sort of space them out a little more, um, give them a little bit more room to breathe. Coming down there. And yeah, while this sort of glass shelf has been good, um, yeah, it just doesn't, it just doesn't work for the space. So we're gonna be working on this. Um, that empty space there is for Darth Vader. He's on his way. You know, I should be uh, having him maybe this week. He's coming in through work, and I'm not at work this week, so you may wait till next week. And yeah, it sort of gives a little bit more room. So this is going to expand out. Let's have a look. So yeah, here's the other shelf, five-tier adjustable shelf. Picked this up from, from Bunnings. Here in Australia, the 1830 series. That is its height in millimetres. Pinnacle hardware. So this is what I've used here. These ones are a deeper shelf. I think these ones were 540 deep, whereas this one over here was was the 410 deep. So that's going to just come out nicely. It's exactly the same as that corner unit I have there. So that will come out and sort of go. It'll just go just past the uh, the edge of the window there, which should, fingers crossed, be good. Also, while I was at Bunnings, I did pick up a couple of these. So I've been using these little these little toolbox things for a few quite a few years now to organize all my accessories and uh, yeah I've just decided to go for something a little bit a little bit neater um, something I can sort of slot down down below um, so yeah these one these would look good these were only 15 each I think. So you've got all these little, you know, you can remove the compartments and shuffle them around. And you know, these ones even have, you know, slide out bits. So, you know, you can have, you know, a range of accessories in there. So I've got one for my three and three quarter, one for black series. So that'll uh, keep them under control again. And then I also, well, that one's just come in. <laughs> so I'll be reviewing that later today when I'm done in here. And uh, yeah, my strip light kit, which will continue on with what I've done here over into that section. So I'm pretty, pretty excited to get going. So yeah, I'm going to go get a Stanley knife to open the box and a mallet to start putting this thing together, start moving some stuff around. But uh, yeah, I'll check back in as I go. All right, 
progress. Let's have a squeeze. Look at that. Look at that, folks. So much room for activities. And you know what? The two details are going to fit perfectly down the end there. Um, just to avoid them sort of sitting in front of those bookshelves, there is like a tiny little gap. It's about... I don't know. It's a little bit. So if I... It's a lot of work having to um, pull these shelves and bump them up hard against that wall there. Um, but that will free up just that little bit of a corner space. Um, yeah. it's. I mean, it's not a big deal, but it's probably enough just to, uh, just to bring it in a little bit more. Um, unfortunately, it means that that corner becomes a little bit of a void. But um, yeah, I can store things like... Oh, in the corner, I've got like posters that are rolled up and, you know, lightsaber blades and stuff. They can all just sort of store away in the corner there. So that's, that's nice and easy to do. But, um, yeah, before I start really going to town on this thing, it's, uh, time to get some lights, lights happening in there. And, uh, yeah, it'll be on a, it'll be on this pretty much the same system as what I've got on this. So. Yeah, time to decide how this is going to happen. It definitely uh, creates a lot of extra space. You know, things like the pod races are going to have a little bit more room to sort of stand on their own. Yeah, all sorts of different different things are going to have a little bit more room for the cantina when that comes out next year. I'm going to divvy up some of that New Hope stuff and just sort of space everything out a little bit nicer. So uh, yeah, let's let's get stuck into it and. Uh, yeah, we'll see how it looks. All right, a little bit of an update. Here we are. We've we're, we've got a light. I've started the uh, I've started the spread of the figures. Got the uh, the details fit in there perfectly. The job of shifting them that way a little bit is a job for another day. <laughs> I've decided. Yeah, just sort of squeezed in. If I can get them, if I can get those bookshelves just to come out that. Yeah, a little bit more. It'll just, it'll make that just feel so much cleaner. Um, but yeah, I think it'll come pretty damn close once I shift them across. Um, but yeah, just because of the weight of all the books, I decided, now I'm just going to get this all done first. I'm hoping I'm going to have enough space so I can get the Razor Crest down with the Mandalorian stuff, if I can spread that out a little bit. Um, as you can see, Phantom Menace has gone just from in there to being able to be spread out across that whole whole thing, which is great. We've got figures falling over already. <laughs> yeah, just wanted to have a little bit of room for the pod races to play. And they look good. And, you know, there's other things that I would love to have space for. Um, like the big... The big uh, Naboo thing, the... Falumper set, I think it is. I'd love to get a hold of that one day. And uh, yeah, there's plenty of room in here for expansion. Um, and yeah, my Geonosis Arena is going to be out of the corner, which is nice. So that's going to come out and come about here, I think. And that allows a little bit of spread there. And then my Clone Wars. So I've got all the Clone Wars stuff. So I'm thinking the ATT is just going to pop in the corner there. I think that'll be a cool a cool sort of centerpiece for the Clone Wars. And then with the Republic Attack Shuttle. So yeah, Revenge of the Sith is probably going to end up down there at this stage. And then, yeah, it's, it's big work in progress. Um, Sail Barge is going to stay there. I think Jabba's Palace is going to stay there. Um, if it ends up being a little bit out of whack chronologically, it's, I'm, I'm not too fussy about it. So I just, yeah, ideally just want to make some extra space and be able to spread stuff out a little bit more. So yeah, work in progress. Um, <laughs> figures falling around. That's all good. Tidy them all up as we go. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with... Actually, how the details are kind of looking. I've got the, uh, you know, that window is, isn't accessible, so it doesn't matter. I've got the sort of the, the Star Wars sort of sheer curtain behind it, and that looks kind of cool. 
And so yeah, ready for the ready for the Darth Vader to arrive. So exciting, exciting stuff. It's a it's a lot of lot of space for three and three quarter figures now, which is exactly what I set out to do. So yeah, stay tuned. Hey folks, so it's been about 24 hours since uh, my last update. Um, yeah, it's coming together. It's coming together. This is uh, I had to bring a chair in just because it was starting. Oh, it just you know you're getting getting to the lower shelves. Um, you know, I thought I'd just share with you what I've what I've done here. Um, a little bit closer because I've yeah, not much left to go. So you sort of see Phantom Menace. We've all had a, we've had a couple of casualties already. That's going to happen can't really avoid it uh some of these will be sort of shuffled around a little bit i just wanted to get most of them set up in their spaces um these are just some extra phantom menace figures i've got sitting around obviously i'd like to fit a bit more in here and and organize this a little bit more um but yeah run through attack of the clones then we get down to geonosis obviously the arena it's pretty much taking up the same space so i didn't end up um, sort of expanding space-wise on that, um, which is fine. It was a, it was enough, you know. I'd lo love to get some more clones, battle droids. Um, they can all sort of fit in there, though. So that's that's worked out quite well. Um, here we sort of go into the Clone Wars, and uh, yeah, I decided to just kick off with the Tartakovsky Clone Wars. Um, it was good, just a good spot to have the Republic. Uh, attack shuttle which is missing its wings um but just having being able to have it sort of tucked sort of halfway behind the arena there so it just gives it its own spot just sort of breaks up that area a little bit rather than you know having that sort of empty void in the corner there so yeah i've kind of gone tartakovsky even though it's technically not chronological because you know these these sort of jedi in this scene sort of ends up at the start of revenge of the sith um but yeah, and again, this corner is a good spot to put the ATTE, the crab droid. Um, yeah, there's still a few of the Tartakovsky figures I'd love to get. And then I sort of went um, realistic Clone Wars. So yeah, that sort of filters into, you know, Rex, uh, a couple of the Bad Batch figures, the only ones that I've got really. Um, I never got the other, the other clones in that four pack. Uh, that's the Hauser. I never got the pack with ballast. Um, those sort of three from the uh, Black Series days. The 3D printed throne that a mate gave me a couple of years ago. And Maul and Ahsoka. Some of the Mandalorians. And then, yeah, sort of goes into the Siege of Mandalore. And the 501st. And sort of live action. Clone Wars. Jedi. And that's when I sort of get into um, the animated stuff. So, yeah, it's it, again, this is something that I might tune up a little bit later. I I sort of just wanted to stick with sort of phase one um, and then sort of get into the, the phase two. And, yeah, this is kind of more or less, you know, I don't know. There's more, there's more of the heroes, the Jedi, the clones. There's a few bits and pieces scattered throughout. Just a little bit random. I used I used the throne for Jabba at the back there. And yeah, just sort of intermingled that Clone Wars. It's an, it's an important part of the story, the Clone Wars, and I really wanted to uh, give it its space on the shelf. So yeah, then we continue the Clone Wars down here. We get some of the more of the villains, the bounty hunters. And we sort of get into that phase two, phase two era. Couple of different versions of some characters there, and that's when we sort of go to Revenge of the Sith. You know, I could bring those um those four Jedi there and bring them down here with Palpatine at some point. I don't know. What do you guys reckon? Um, yeah, it was Anakin versus Dooku. We've got some clones happening there. Some speeder bikes just sort of going through the little Order 66 sort of pairings. I know Bale and Brea could go down to the end. 
me sort of go through. Again, I've stated many times that Revenge of the Sith is pretty much my, I don't know, least supported uh, film in figure form, I think. I'd like to I'd like to build on that. I'm working, on, working on bits and pieces. And then I sort of went into, you know, there's a bit of Obi-Wan Kenobi series here. There's some uh, Jedi Fallen Order. And then I actually put all the Rebels animated figures down the back there. Um, yeah, just I didn't change the way I had them displayed. I just wanted them to be sort of in that chronology, even though it's probably a little bit closer to, to Rogue One than Solo is. But... Well, just sort of tucking them up the back there, you know, because they're on little tiered stands. They still sort of, they still stand out, you know. Um, but then you have like the live action sort of stuff coming through the front. So yeah, then I have Zeb and Kanan and Thrawn. Once the ghost arrives, um, I'm going to have a table. So my rebels, my live action rebels will go with the ghost. So we get a solo and, you know... A, teeny weeny little spot here for Andor I hope we get some more Andor figures for TVC and we're screaming for them I know they've got Dedra coming which is a good addition but yeah a little bit of, little bit of foot room there for a couple other figures if, if Hasbro want to do us the do us the courtesy of uh, dropping some more so there Rogue One the new New Hope Darth Vader I've just put him at the front of the Rogue One and this is where we're going to sort of get into, you know, these are all going to move. Um, this is going to be the sort of the start of a new hope here. And that will continue down here. You know what? The, the Tantive Corridor might actually end up up there. And then sort of the rest of a new hope will come down here. And sort of take us right back into where I had it. So I didn't really need to move too much around. It's actually worked out quite well spacing wise. But um, yeah, look, I think I'll leave it at that. And, uh, you know, maybe maybe in a couple of weeks, once I've got a little bit more happening up the top, decided what I'm going to do here, I'll do another, I'll do another catch up and update everyone then. But yeah, this has been a fun... Fun little, fun little exercise actually, just, it feels, it feels right, <laughs> it just feels like I've got that little bit more, a little bit more space to play with in here now, with my figures, it's, it's turned out nice, so thank you all for watching folks, love to hear some comments and thoughts, and yeah, I'm going to get, get cracking on with the rest of the, uh, rest of the setup here. So may the force be with you, always.